Hey everybody, it's the gearhead. Well, we've been working on the coupe some more. So we put the front bumper on it. Um, all the headlights are on. Everything's working there. I think I showed you that already. So now what we're doing is we got this fender from, and I can't really see. I got this fender from Daryl Swanson out there in Nebraska. So I'm going to put that on. And you can see here the coupe. She's in pretty good shape here. There's some factory rivets right there. So can't really see nothing here. But this fender is the one I got from Daryl Swanson. It's a nice fender too. And I'm going to put that on the car. This is a um, sedan fender. And this opening right in here, when, this opening right in here is farther in than the coupe fender. So that means it's going to close up all that gap that's over here. Because you can see this coupe fender right here. You can see that it, there's, the wheel opening is, is more in here. It's about an inch or an inch and a quarter wider. So, and I've already sold this fender. So, there's a guy up in Wisconsin that's going to buy this fender. And uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. And I can't think of anything else I've done. But anyways, the old coop, she's coming along here. So that's good for now. When I get it on, I'll show you. All right? Okay. Okay, everybody. I got this fender on. It's a little cold out here today, but you know what? It turned out pretty good. The fender, we got that gap. That inch and a half, two inches of gap that was in that behind with that coop fender. I'll put a picture in a slideshow and show you the difference. But it turned out pretty good. The fender... Looks just like the coupe fender did. I added that piece in there. I added that piece. Went from about right here down to about right there. And it's a piece about that wide. You add that in there, then you weld up all these other old holes. Because this is a sedan fender. But it turned out really good. It looks just like the coupe fender. And, uh, and it closed up the gap because this has parallel leaves on it. You can't get the rear end back far enough to center it in that coupe fender. And it's slightly off with that fender, but not by much. So she's she's looking good. And I got another fender coming from Herb Twee House, which he's in Lincoln, Nebraska. Daryl knows him, and Daryl set me up with him. So we got that fender's a coming. And uh, I also put the two inch lowering blocks in and that set it down another inch and I think it's got just the perfect look to it. This car is really coming along. I'm really satisfied with the way it's a looking. And uh, I also, I fixed this fender over here. I got some, I'll put, I had to cut that piece out because there was a big crack in the fender. And it was all brazed up and it was a mess. So I just took it, welded that piece in there. Now that fender is really solid. Before it was real weak there. If you moved it in the front, it would peek out right there. So we got all that done. And uh, we got some parts coming from Brian. Uh, let's see, how, D, D. Liley, I think his name is. He's up in by Green Bay, Wisconsin. He's got a... Uh, Greyhound for me, and he's got some the uh, 36 tail lights because I'm going to put a gas tank in it and take this fuel cell out. So he's got the 36 uh, tail light stands, and on the driver's side, left side, that's got that's where the gas neck goes up through the up through the tail light stand that goes to the gas tank, and I'm going to put a regular gas tank in this, and uh, it's going to turn out pretty good. This, I'm, I'm loving this car. It just, it's got the look to it. It's an old 50s style hot rod, and it's, it's got the look to it. So, all right, anyways, thanks, subscribe. I appreciate everybody watching and keeping up with it. I'm also going to put an update on 
with the Chevelle because I had a nasty comment and I, you know, I don't do that. I wish other people wouldn't do it, but I got a, a update on the Chevelle and uh, I'll put that in this video too. Or no, I'll make that separate. Okay. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye. Here's something else I did too. This fender had this crack. And that's the way I took it out of it. it was, I tried to braise it a little bit, but that crack was braised up. And you want to talk about a mess. This thing is a mess. So I took all that mess out of it. And I welded a nice patch on it. And I put the lip underneath how it's and put it up went up, made like a U, so it gives it real good support right there. Because I guess these fenders here, they all cracked up through there. So it was like a weak spot for them. So that's something else I did too. And that, that really made this thing stop. I mean, it's just, they don't have no wiggle to it whatsoever now. And before it was kind of, you could pull it out, all that. So that's another thing I worked on. I got that all fixed up. And I got the two fenders the right height. Uh, one of, this one was a little bit shorter because of all that. So I, 